stampingwithdye.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. And this week's What You Making Wednesdays. And I have a bunch of birthday cards to make. So I thought um, I would do, do birthday cards. Now sometimes I don't necessarily have it say happy birthday, like the stamp itself, because you can use a pen and, and write that. Also, depending on who I'm sending it to, because sometimes I don't write in the card if I'm sending it to, um, I guess it just depends, right? Like sometimes I'll just send a card that I want the person you know, to enjoy, but I know that they also like to give cards because not everybody likes to give cards. Um, and then I'll just put like happy birthday on a post-it note and then they can take the post-it note and they can reuse the card. So sometimes I do that. Sometimes I write them. It just depends on what side of the bed I get up in the morning, I guess. But anyways, <clears throat> so um, so this one doesn't say happy birthday, but they're going to be birthday cards. So anyways, so um, let's get started. So who all is here? Oh, Maisie and Marcy are here. Let me flip the phone. That was a quick flip, right? Usually I blab a little bit. All right, Teresa's here and Ann and hey, good morning, Breton. Dawn and Teresa, I love when you say hi. I need to keep one eyeball on the um, computer and one eyeball down so I can I can um, see. Also, if you are part of my um, Stamping with Die Facebook group, you will notice that I canceled this fall social. It's because I put the dates out. Now, the spring social is still going on. In fact, you only have till the 21st to um, register for um, the spring social. That's going to be a March the 26th. It's a virtual event through Zoom, through Facebook. Um, so you only have a couple days to sign up for that. Just because attendance is down and I want to focus more on my monthly classes. So this is still, you know, still going on. But the fall one, I just had to make a decision and I made that decision, right? Because I don't want you holding that date because I had to send out a save the date because then you can do, you know, do something else. And fall is so busy with me because I do the monthly class. Plus, starting in June, I do Christmas cards each month. So that um, you have a whole bunch of Christmas cards to send out starting um, in December. So I have that going on. So at the same time as I'm like, oh, I was kind of sad at the same to cancel it. At the same time, I was like, it was almost like this weight was off my off my shoulder. Um, and then it will decide if I will do the spring social. If I do the spring social in 2023, I might move it up into February. Um, so but that's way down the road, but I do like to sit with my calendar and um, and work things out. I mean, that's just me. I like to plan. I am a planner and I use a planner. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's see here. So I did blab a little bit, but you just had to watch my hands. My hands were talking. All right, so we are gonna use nuts and bolts. And this was my class for the month of January. And I'm also using Driving By, which is a celebration stamp set. All right. And I'm also using the Sunshine and Rainbows. And then the crazy noggin of mine, I'm going, I think that's a celebration. Hold on a minute. Or is it not? I don't even know now, right? Because celebration, celebration. Let's look, look, look. Okay, yes, I thought it was. And I'm also using the Sunshine and Rainbows DSP. And this is also um, a celebration. So if you are placing an order, whether you send me your order, I have a lot of people just email me their order and no big deal. I put it in, it's super quick. Um, and then you just wanna make sure, whether you're sending me your order or you're doing it on your own, that you pick for every 50, you get to pick something. So this is a $50 level. This is a $50 level. We also have some $100 levels. So you just wanna make sure before you close out the order that you have picked your free. If you are not sure and never close the order out, then just, um, you know, it'll save in your car and then holler at me so that I can um, make sure that you're not missing out on anything. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Okay, so I have a scrap paper. So I stamped my little Volkswagen. I couldn't decide if I was going to use the car or the Volkswagen um, van. And I just love, hey, Anna. I just love, oh, thank you so much for sharing. I love when you share. Um, and I have, I have met so many new people this morning, Anna, from you because you um, linked to my calendar. So that was so sweet of you. All right. Um, so anyway, I, I stamped the little Volkswagen. And then let's get the inside as well. So you know I like to do the inside. All right. So we have... So I'm using this paper. Now I'm going like everywhere, right? All right, so we're using basic gray. And this is something that I learned from Bruno Bertucci. All right, let me get my stamparatus. All right, so I wrote this on here so I did not forget. So Bruno Bertucci, I saw this. So what he does, because I am going to be gluing this directly to here, right? So that this is just going to be on the bottom like the road. And then, so, you know, you can go like this if you want and then kind of line it up. But this is genius. So I'm going to put my adhesive on here. And then what you do is you, you know, take your Stamparatus and you take this right here. So you butt this right up here, right? Then you take this. Now I usually, you know, this is a little bit bigger, but that's fine. Gives you a little handhold. And then you do the same thing. This butts right up like that. And then this is perfectly in this corner. Isn't that brilliant? I love that. All right. So then I don't even need this anymore. That was the only reason why I had that out. All right. So thank you, Bruno. Not that he watches my channel, but there, if anybody knows Bruno, you could say yes. Diana did, thank you. All right. So then I'm just gonna cut that edge off. Easy peasy. And, oh, I could have did the same thing here, because now I'm doing this, except I cut this a little longer. So, now I'll go the old fashioned way, right? After I show you a trick, then I'm going back my old way, but that's all right. All right. So we have that, and then we're just going to cut the edge because the paper is six by six, and this was just that one inch on the side that I wasn't using so that the inside is gonna coordinate with the outside. And I couldn't decide, like I said, I, I, I was like, oh, am I gonna use the car or the van? He is brilliant, all right. We sat with him and his wife on um, one of the cruises. They're hilarious. All right. So I ended up going with the van on the front. And so I'm going to put the car on the inside. So I'm still using it. All right. So the car is going to be on the inside. I'm going to put it over here. And then, so our cute little car, and, 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 all right, so this is what I mean about it doesn't say birthday. So I'm getting all my stamping done at once, but what I want to do, well, I have that out. Then I was like, which do I do? So I'm going to do it on both of these pieces, and then we can decide. So the van, I'm going to cut out some of the DSP, because I wanted my van to look kind of, um, like fun and hip. So we have it on hearts and then we have it on flowers. And then we can decide later. So let's that dry. I also, when I was messing around, I wanted the greeting. So I want my greeting I'm like looking at my pieces of paper, right? Let's see, I want this one. All right, so my greeting on the inside is going to say, you make my heart go beep. And I thought that was so funny, right? Because the car, that's what the car is doing. It's going beep, 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 beep. Even though this comes from the nuts and bolts. All right, so you make my heart 
go beep. And then put that over there. And it does have a couple little hearts. So the inside's gonna be kind of busy now that I'm looking at it, but that's okay. And what I could have done, which I didn't, I could have masked this away and then I could have put hearts, but we're just leaving them as balloons. All right, so let me bring this back over and I want it to say, so I'm gonna use this one right here. So I'm gonna stamp right on here. So driving by just to say hi. Now again, this is from the Rainbow DSP. So it says driving by just to say hi. Okay, I think I've done all my stamping. So I can put that away. And now everything's, you know, can kind of dry depending on what the weather's like. You know, it's a little cooler here in Arizona, so I don't know if that messes with our humidity or not. But um, I like to, you know, give stuff some time to dry before I immediately start to color. Because sometimes it will, um, the memento's not all the way dry. If I'm gonna make a whole bunch of cards, like I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these birthday cards, I will get all my stamping done at one time, like I'm doing now, um, like an assembly line, and then I'll color. So, you know, it's just, it's just easier. Okay, so let's see, let's get my blends out. I have my little bucket. I wish I'd have grabbed more of these buckets. I only have four. I am so bad. If I have one of something, I usually have at least two of something. Um, but these, I wish I'd have grabbed more. So if I get over to Home Goods, it was a while ago that I got these. Um, they're just a perfect little size bucket, you know, to hold things. All right. Okay, and I do have shoe boxes that I put my class stuff in because you need a lot more room. But I do love the little, um, those little buckets for my blends and stuff for my um, videos. Okay, so let's get um, coloring our little van. And we are gonna end up cutting out the van, but not yet. All right, so we're just gonna start to color. This is dark, smoky slate for the tires. So I had Netflix on while I was messing around this morning. All right, so dark smoky slate. Oh, but you know what? I forgot, now I have a car to color because I didn't do the car on the original card. It was like an afterthought. I was like, oh, let's do a car on the inside. Let me scoot down, let me scoot. So I almost forgot, I need to color the car too. But I'm not gonna put um, fancy on the car. I mean, I could. I did have. I did cut a piece because, like I said, I was undecided if I was going to do the car or the van, and it just seemed like the van took up more space on the front of the card. So that's why I did that. All right. So just light and dark smoky slate now don't let me forget i'm going to do it right now because i know i work i'm going to forget i also from the robot set because i will i'll forget all right so the robot set has this cute little um the, this goes underneath the robot right so you have like a shadow but i want to put it underneath where the van is going to go All right, so on the road. So the van is gonna go here. So I wanna put just this right here so that the van has like a like a shadow. Oh, I'm making birthday cards. All right, and do I wanna put it underneath here? Mm, nope, I'm not gonna put it underneath there. Just because I should have put the car up a little higher, so I'll just do my shadow with the blends because the car's not gonna be cut out. All right, so let's get back to coloring. So anyways, so every time I turn on the YouTube, the Jeopardy thing comes up because I probably watched it at one time. 
How many times can you win Jeopardy? Oh my gosh, the girl that's on there now. I mean, her points are so high, people don't even have a have a shot. I could never do that show. I can re barely remember anything. I mean, she knows stuff about everything. Okay, so that was pumpkin pie, light and dark. See, I can't even color and talk, it seems like, because then I get all like, what? All right, so this is daffodil, light and dark daffodil. See, I'm like way out of the focus even. All right, light and dark daffodil. So I just wonder, like, how many times? All right, and then this is the light. Okay. And hopefully, I'm putting them away, and I'm probably like, oh, oh, I still need them. All right, so now we're going to do our roof so this is just granny apple and I just basically picked colors that were in this DSP now this DSP is is um the pattern party and it's for the hostess set so if you place an order so you know how I was telling like for every 50 you get to pick a celebration item but if you order 150 before tax and shipping, you're also earning hostess benefits. So you can pick three $50 levels, or you could pick a $100 level and a $50 level, but then you also get hostess free. And this is one of the items you could pick. It's this whole stack of DSP. It is amazing. I love it so much and I use it a lot. So that's where this came from. So I just basically am using colors that are in that DSP. All right. So that is Granny Apple light and dark for the roof. And then let's see. So I just have my blends off to the side here. Let me show you how I do this. Okay. So I have my blends just off to the side and I talked about these little labels the other day. So you can see the little labels I just printed and, and stuck on. And I will show you again where I got those from. So that is stampwithsarah.co.uk is where I got those from. And then, um, so I just kind of set them so that I can see, like I can see what color they are. And then I don't have to like go like this, right? And like read what, what color they are there because I can just read on the side. But anyways, that's just me. All right, so we want gray granite. So we're doing dark gray granite for our bumpers. That's a bumper. That's a bumper. So it's just easier, I think, than reading the marker. But everybody can do whatever they want. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do we want? Well, we have colors out. We also want Poppy Parade. So this is Dark Poppy Parade on my hearts. And I'm also putting Poppy Parade on here. But this is such a cute set. I was back and forth if I wanted to because I'm earning celebrations as well, right? Like when I put in um, orders that I need or whatever. And I thought, oh, if I if I ask for extra driving by, because I've done that in the past, and then I hold a class like later. So I haven't decided yet because this is a super, super cute, cute one. All right, and then my hearts. And where's my gray granite again? All right, so our gray granite, you couldn't find the little circles on that site. <gasps> um, Joe, I'll have to look. You might have to do a search. I mean, because it's been forever since I printed them. Um, Brenton, 
I'm going to you, Brenton. What did you, because I know like you had asked as well, but then I couldn't find your comment, but you said if you found them. Um, can you try to do a search? If not, I will have to search and then I'll have to modify my little cheat sheet that I say. All right, so this was just light gray granite and I simply just um, grounded my little truck, my little car in there. This one's gonna get cut out, so it doesn't matter. So this was just light gray granite. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on these hearts. I'm just going to put a little shadow just to make those hearts kind of pop off the page a little bit. All right, so let's see. I also want to put some color in the windows of my van. So this is just dark pool party. And I'm just kind of drawing this invisible line here which to me just makes the the windows look almost like they have an angle right like the volkswagen is you know how kind of a weird shape um under what tab is there like is joe is there like a search i mean it's been so long is there like a search thing on her blog that you can just search stamp and blends you know like and then it comes up all right I'm sorry. All right. And then it's just a little dark, just because it got a little bit light. Now this one, these are just the new tonal ones. And I simply just did a, um, a Word document. And um, I just did a Word document. And I just typed super, super, super little. And then I just punched them out. So if you can't find it, it would be easy enough to make your own. You just have to make your typing be super, super little. Right? Anyways. Um, I'm sorry, Brenton. I'm putting you to work. All right. All right. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's color our balloons. Again, I forgot I put a car on the inside. So, because it looks super cute, right? With the balloons and stuff. All right. But it just makes me go, oh, I have to color two things now. So, yeah. So, these are the birthday cards. So, even though it doesn't say happy birthday, it's still a birthday card. I think right okay let's see then we also need an orange balloon and we'll do a yellow balloon too just so our balloons are all different colors so what do you think what kind of music do you think that these people are playing in their car as they're driving around i like to think it might be classic rock don't you think that's what i'm thinking all right and then this one i'm gonna put on the outside of the balloons i'm gonna put some light pool party and that will just kind of make the eye think sky all right all right da -da 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 -da. And then our car, I forgot I have to color the car. Oh, wait, wait, I cut out the car. So I cut out the car. So should we just glue this on here? I think I'm just gonna glue that on there, to be honest, to be honest. All right, and then that will make, so, you, okay, so I'm gonna put this on the inside. Do you want me to make the van match the car? Oh, Grateful Dead in the van, Surf City. <gasps> Ooh, Surf City would be good. I, that was one of my, I think that was my very first concert. I went to see John Mellencamp, Cougar, John Cougar. I think he was called John Cougar back then. And the Beach Boy, he opened for the Beach Boys. And it was in London, Ontario. And he was not in a good mood. All right, so do you want me to make the, the Van B Hearts? And then the car, I think that's what I'll do. I'll have the Van B Hearts, just so that the vehicles aren't identical. All right. All right, so now I need to cut this out. So I just need to remember how I'm cutting out because remember the other day 
when I was cutting out the arm and I cut the arm wrong. All right, so I'm cutting out. I want the wheels are gonna be here. So see, I wanna just cut out this area right here and we're just putting that on. So super fun. So this is a perfect card that you make while you have the TV on, right? Get everything stamped and then you can just color and cut to your heart's content and not have to think, right? Because you've already thunk that first one up. Then you're just basically making it over and over and over. All right, so then cut that. But before I glue them on, I want to cut out my little Volkswagen. Because I want to glue the this on the Volkswagen after I cut it out. All right. So then we're going to cut this out. And it doesn't take super long. I love to sit and fussy cut. Some people do. Some people don't. This does not have a die. Now this, ha, 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 this has a punch. All right. So see, I'm like going all over the place. So let me go like this because I don't want to waste these clouds. I don't want to lose those clouds. I want to be able to use them. And then we have this new cloud punch. So I just, this is okay. He's already cut. So this gives me my finger hold, right? So then... I'm just going to go in here and punch. All right. So now back to the van. Back to the van. Oh, night. I was born in 65. So pretty close, Jeannie. Pretty close. All right. I've been watching, I think I mentioned, I've been watching Timeless. And I never watched it when it was on TV. So I am enjoying it. But, but some of those movies, it's like Timeless. I'm trying to think what other, what other one I would watch. And then I would have to pause it and then I would have to Google and what did we do before Google? We'd have to go to the library. And I will Google, like, is this true? You know, or what was the year? I wish I, oh, well, no, I'm trying to think now what it was. I can't remember. But they would do something on the show. And then I would go, okay, is this accurate? You know, is this the year? And that's one that I find. I, I, I'm Googling things to see if person is real or if they're if it's made up I mean some of you really know you know but some you don't okay so we've got our cute little van cut out now before I glue these on I also want to add a little bit of light gray granite shadow on them no you are not officially old all right oh see I don't have apple Marcy, so Ted Lasso is an apple. Um, so Amazon. Oh, you know what I did? See, I can't. I cut out the. I cut out the bumper. See, I can't even. So now I'm gonna have to cut out this bumper. Good grief. Good grief, Diana. Why didn't you say you're cutting out the bumper? All right, hang on a minute. That means I'm just going to have to color my bumper. No big deal. No big deal. Let's see. Let's do pool party. This is what I mean. I can't think and talk sometimes. But originally, I had, I, I wasn't good. I was going to cut out the bumper. And then I thought, oh, no, I'll just have it be patterned. So I think my my mind was still in that that groove. Okay, all right, no big deal. No biggie, no biggie. All right, so light, light, light gray granite. All right, so let's go back. So I'm just putting a little bit of a shadow. I'm just putting a little bit of a shadow. 
because the doors would have a shadow. The store would have a shadow right here. And there would be just this shadow, right? As things are around. Right. And then just along the top there. So it's just very, very subtle, but it's there. Okay, then I'm gonna use my green tip glue. So um, Timeless is on Amazon Prime and it was only two seasons. So I'm on the second season. But I think the one girl, the main girl, I think she's on Grey's Anatomy. I need to look. But I think she plays the one sister that her, her son has the heart problem. I think that's the same person. All right. And then I want to say the other guy was on, it was another medical. Was he on Grey's Anatomy too? Or Chicago Hope? I can't remember. Okay, so now I'm going to lay this on. So let me scoot down just a little bit. Um, so now I'm going to lay this on here. So now our cute little van is very retro. So the green tip glue allows you to wiggle that a little bit, just so you can get it into place. All right, so then let's do the same thing with the car. So I like that I have them not being identical, but isn't this so fun? So you can do this with any paper. You just want to have it have like a small, you know, it has to have um, a small design. If it has too big of a design, it's not going to be as noticeable. So, and I just find it's easier to put the glue here than here. Because then I can pick this up and look, it's nice and clean, right? The glue is here. I don't have like the glue here and it's sticking to my fingers. So it's a lot easier to do it this way. All right, so then we're just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can only wiggle so long, but it does give you wiggle, wiggle room. So anyways, oh, I love it, love it, love it. So anyways, all right. So I think, I think, I think now we're just assembling, right? All right, so let me scoot back up. She's scooting, she's scooting. All right, we need all these things off of there. All right. 45 minutes from Hot Ashberry. See, I would have to Google because now I'm going, is that a person or a place? See, that's how bad I am. I was the worst. I didn't do well in math, geography, science. I loved art in school. Not art history. I think Marcy and I might have been in the same, were we in the same art class? All right, so I'm just gonna put the inside of my card. So these are gonna be so fun to make. All right. But look how cute it is with that car in there. And does it look, make so fun? Beep, beep. All right, so what I also wanna do is I'm gonna take my pool party dark and I'm going to highlight beep. So you make my heart go beep. And then let's put the outside. Now the outside is cut a little smaller and then I'm gonna back it with a piece of the basic white and it also has kind of a, a smallish um, frame as well. I had doctor, a uh, doctor. I had Mr. Blake and now I can't think, was it Unipan, was she? Was she the art class teacher? I'm so bad at names, but I want to say, was it Mrs. Unipan? Was she our art teacher? All right, so then that's going to go in here. So see, I have like this bigger kind of a area around here. And then it, to me, it just makes it, you focus more on this right here. All right, so I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. So let me get my mama dimensionals out just because it's tone on tone, right? So usually when I do tone on tone, I will put dimensionals because then it's obvious that you've put another layer on there. Otherwise, why bother, right? If a person can't see that you put another layer, then why are you wasting paper? So that's why I like to add the dimensionals because then it's obvious because you can see the shadow around it, right? 
as the light hits, you can see there's an extra layer there. Okay, so we're gonna put also, so here we have our little driving by just to say hi, and I'm gonna cover this one here. So I'm just gonna take, and it's okay if you can see it underneath, which you probably will be because I'm using the dimensionals. I don't mind that you are gonna be able to see that under there because it's still the same color. It's a different design. So I just kinda, this is just me, I'm kinda anal. So that's why I chose this one. So the earlier I did this one, right? So that's fine. So you could do that one. That will be on another card. It just depends on where the um, where they land. But I didn't want it to be this one or this one. I didn't want it to be one that was the same. I wanted it to be a different one, right? All right. And that just goes on there. So driving by just to say hi. And then we're going to put our little van. So see, the little van is over the cloud. Isn't that cute? <laughs> All right. And then it will be depend, right? Like if I put it here, the next one might be up here. They might not always be the same, right? It's just going to depend on where you put your... Um, so I'm putting my dimensionals on here instead of here. All right, so that's good. And I know I can put one here. Just because I don't want to get one on here and then it's be here. And then your van will be crooked, right? All right, so that's good. Put a little van right there, driving by just to say hi. Let's see, what else do we want? Where's my Wink Estella? So we're gonna take my Wink Estella and my gel pen. Hello, where's the gel pen? All right, so we're gonna do a little gel pen. Yes, we are. You know me, I got a gel pen something. All right, so we're gonna put just a little bit of gel pen on our windows. And on our hearts. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm missing some. Um, oh, that might have been the one. That might have been the TV show I was watching, Ginny. Um, we also watched that movie, something about Hollywood. It had... Brad Pitt, and when they started talking about something, I like immediately paused the movie, and I was like, oh, they're talking about Charles Manson. Um, okay, so I also want the iridescent rhinestones, and we're gonna put these on our wheels because it's kind of psychedelic-y. But, um, but that was kind of cool, right? That Hollywood movie. I mean, it was very, um, it was kind of bloody. But then at the same time, those people didn't get killed. And I talked about um, on my Facebook, if we're friends on Facebook, you know, you'll make sure you have to frame me or whatever. But I was talking about um, Stephen King and his 1122 63 or whatever it's like a time travel i love time travel but anyways so that's kind of like why i like the timeless but the hippie van reminds me of all the vans around eugene oregon where i used to live i love that town i really miss it oh yeah helter skelter scary um okay so let me get my wink Stella. and we did a puzzle over christmas and i got I ordered some new ones, and the one we're going to start next is, it's these Volkswagen vans, and it's just all of them in a row, and I can hardly wait to start it. All right, so this is just the Wink Estella, and I'm going to put a little bit in the windows, so our windows have some shine to them. I love the Wink Estella. All right, just try not to... Um, go over the red too much just in case all right so we want to put a little bit here as well now this is the inside of the card so I'm not going to put any of the hubcaps in here just because I don't want it to it's already got that little bit of um, DSP that looks stinking cute um, I could put yes that is cute oh my gosh Wink Stella everything 
All right. That is cute. Oh my gosh. Everybody needs a Wink Costello. All right. And then you just, if you want it to be a little more sparkly, just let it dry and then go back over it. All right. Isn't that the most cutest card? <laughs> Every time I do a card, I go, oh, this is the cutest card ever. It's like, you know, love this card. Definitely going to have to try making it. Oh, Stacy, I'm so glad. All right, so here's the one I was looking at, right? Because remember, I always do one ahead of time to look at. And then it also um, makes me do things different. Not always for the live, but sometimes it does. So this is the one I did first. So this is the one that I was looking at. And then I was like, okay, well, I want to do something fun with the clouds. So then that's when I was like, I did that. Now, oh, so first I did this. Hang on a minute. First I did this. So this is from Give It a Whirl. So this is a cute little um, cloud from Give It a Whirl. And then I just masked away the driving by just to say, just to say, and then you would have the inside, right? But then I was like, you know, that doesn't give you a lot of room. And I didn't necessarily want to cover these cute little clouds on the DSP. So then that's why I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just cut it out. And that's super cute. But then I'm like, oh, what if I stamp on the cloud? And then that's how it ended to be that. So, you know, it's, it's just a work of progress. All right, so it turned out cute. And then you could see, so here's the difference, right? So this is the heart heart van this is the flower van where i didn't forget and i let the hubcap stay or whatever those are bumpers i don't know what those are jeff will tell me that's not right all right so here's the inside of this one and look how cute it is with the car so i so this one won't have a car because you don't want to do it now because we're coloring with the um the blends we'll we'll go through right so anyways, they're both adorable, but that just shows, you know, my, my mind is like, okay, what if I do this? What if I do that? Oh, so, um, so usually, oh, that would be perfect for a Valentine. It would, right? It would be great for a Valentine as well as, as a birthday. And that's why I'm like, oh, you know what? Like a lot of times I'll just put a post-it note in there and say, happy birthday, Sometimes they're thank you cards as well, right? Um, and then I just put a post-it note in there saying, you know, thank you for your order, you know, whatever, you know, whatever. And then the person can use the card over. Um, I like it stamped on the clouds too, Marcy. It just, you know, it's just kind of like, hey, because that paper is super cute. And, the, and it's six by six. You know, six by six. Um, is this the this these two pieces? These two pieces might be from the same one, right? You can see where I got. You know, so then, so you can get quite a few clouds if this is the six by six. That would mean me knowing math. So I don't know if it is or not. But um, so I do. I kind of like the, and if and if the patterns on the on the clouds match. I mean, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So, but anyways, so I'm glad you like that. If you have an order that's over 150, Anna, you, if you are placing an order that's oh, like 150 before tax and shipping, you don't need a hostess code. Nope, because then you'll get your hostess benefits. If you are placing an order several times in a month, so you're going to order 50 here and then whatever, then definitely at the beginning of the month, holler at me and say, could you make me my own hostess code? And then you have your own private hostess code, and then you can add to it throughout the month. And then when the month is up, because the hostess codes are only good for 30 days, then, you know, I'll call you and say, you know, your hostess code's ready to, about to expire, and then you can add to it or whatever, and then you get hostess benefits. But if you are just placing like one order that's over 150 before tax and shipping, you don't need a code because you'll get the hostess benefits. So, um, so definitely. Um, if, if you think that's what you want to do, I have several customers that do that, you know, each month they'll say, give me my own code, you know. Um, 
and my club girls, you know, have their own code or whatever. But the th important thing is I have to make the code before the first order is placed. You can't make a code after, right? So the code has to be like, like, um, a live code. Does that make sense? That might be like so much information that you don't want to hear. But um, so anyways, so hopefully that that helps. And if you have any questions at all, just just reach out to me and um, I'll answer. I'll, I'll answer them. All right. OK, so I'm going to. Um, yeah, right. Um, Anna uses Anna um, uses other stuff. And I think maybe years ago. Um, she was a demonstrator, but she uses um, so many other things. But um, but yeah, if you're not Anna and you have a big order, definitely, you know, you can get the starter kit for 99 bucks and get 125 and plus two free stamp sets. So there's so much information. I'm just like, wah, wah, wah. You're, um, you're probably like, what is she talking about now? So anyways um see that's what i meant right um so yes i think maybe you were when i met you years ago but um so anyway but yeah so if you're not a designer for other companies <laughs> and you have a big wish list i would love to have you join my team so um you have arch cars parading during that would be cool to see that would be cool to see. Um, where is the town that has the cows? And the cows are all painted different? That would be cool to see. And I know Tucson has these awesome murals that um, when we went in to get our first COVID, we had to go um, to Tucson to our, our first shot. We had to go to Tucson while in our second shot. Um, so it was cool, you know, to drive by, by some of the murals. But um, I love that kind of art stuff. Okay, so I'm going to say, see, I'm like looking just to make sure that I'm not missing anybody. If I do miss comments, oh, is it the Chicago cows? Is Chicago the one? So now we're like just going like off, off in a tangent. Is Chicago the one that has that big bean, that silver bean that you can see yourself like reflected in? That looks cool too. Um, and then somewhere has that big love. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, anyways. Um, okay. So, I'm going to, um, say see you later. Um, oh, has moose. Oh, so, so we need to, we need to get rid of this COVID. And we need to go back to our traveling. Because that is one thing that I am so blessed. Not only to know all of you who, who bring me so much joy when you um, chat with me and, and do my um, lives with me each time. But we have traveled to so many places with Stampin' Up! Because um, we earned the uh, incentive trip. I mean, we've been to Thailand and Fiji. I mean, it's a lot of work. A lot of hard work to earn the trips. But that Stampin' Up! offers that, right? That, you know, if you work hard, you know, that this is just a little incentive that we're, we're um, going to give you if you work your tail off. <laughs> I wish I could work my tail off. My bum is getting so big. But anyway, but we have. We have traveled um, a lot of places. So I hope that COVID goes away. So, because some of these things would be fun to see, right? So I'll have to. So you are saying yes to the bean. Okay. <laughs> Because I've seen that in movies and stuff. Now, Jeff's family's from Illinois. So we, we're going to have to, um, we want to go. It's just not safe yet. So anyways, but okay. The big love is in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, okay, cool. Anyways, all right. So make sure you holler at me and I'm going to stop blabbing. So I won't be, I don't do lives on Thursday. I have to take Jeff's glasses back to the eye doctor. Has anybody ever heard of stuff being in the glasses? This poor man has been wearing these glasses since he got them last year. Not but a year yet, but right before we left for Hawaii. We picked our gla new glasses up and then I think we immediately left for Hawaii. He just figured his eyes were going, right? 
but he kept saying my my uh, safety glasses at work I can see perfectly but he will put on his regular glasses and it's blurry and I'm just like well they need to be clean blah blah so he finally looked through them with his safety glasses right because he can't see when he has them off they have this weird glass going on it looks like they're, sh they're like shattery stuff. They're not broken, but it's something within the glass. And I can't believe he has been, no wonder he couldn't find pieces on that puzzle. <laughs> that was taking forever. They are horrible. So I have to take him back tomorrow and say, you need to put some good glass in these. I mean, it's just weird. I mean, so, so weird. So anyways, yes, I'll have to shake my tail feathers. All right, so now for the hunter time, I'm going to say bye. I'll see you Friday for my dyes shorts. Uh, thank you so much for um, visiting with me today. I will see you Friday, 3 o'clock, Arizona time, same time, cha same channel. And um, you, you make my heart go boom because of all our lovely chatter. And I feel like we're actually talking, even though it's like, just my crazy voice. <laughs> All right. I will see you Friday. Bye for now. <laughs>